Now Cork has got him behind Cunningham here. He's got to the byline. Suddenly the three yellow shirts to aim at. Slow shot from Connolly. Mike Kempaguli and Southampton have the lead away from home. Connolly's first shot was parried back into the penalty area. Gooley strikes it. It's only his second away from St Mary's in the league this season. And without Ricky Lambert, Gooley has stepped up. Forest nil, Saints won. Well, I, I said to you in the early part of the commentary, uh, sometimes it's the, the criticism gets not justified, but Cork's go down the right-hand side, a good counter-attack again from Southampton, down that right-hand side, he's got right to the touchline, and he's cut that ball back for Connolly, and it was a good block by the goalkeeper, Adam, he made a good save, it came straight back uh, to Gooley, and he made no doubt about it, he whipped that one ball, that ball back into the net, Saints one up. I like the fact that you just called him Alvin Martin, which I'm sure you probably did on purpose, just to give him a, a credit for being as good as Alvin Martin was. And the referee it was a free kick to Saints here. Connolly is on the ground, Moosey protesting his innocence, and referee Eddie Elderton wants words. And Kelvin Davis has travelled 60 yards to have a go at the referee for that challenge on David Connolly. We've seen his ankles tapped a few times. Now it was in the air, that's a sending off. Forrester down to 10 men. Connolly is down on the ground, prone still being treated. It must have been an elbow as they went in the air. Is it Chambers or is it Moosey who's been sent off? Who is it who's going? It is the Forest skipper, Luke Chambers, sent off by referee Eddie Hilderton and the home side are out of 10 men. Steve Cottrell is now coming out of his technical area and trying to have a go at Nigel Atkins. I've never seen anything like it. Five yards outside of his technical area. The fourth official and the stewards trying to break it up. Andy Crosby's not giving an inch. Nigel Adkins isn't giving an inch. And Luke Chambers shakes his head as he wanders back into the changing room. David Connolly still on the ground, on his haunches now, getting treatment. And Forrest have now gone from bad to worse. Down to ten. Discipline lacking. Five minutes gone in the second half. Saints will have a man advantage. It's now 500 minutes since Nottingham Forest has scored at home. Fox has made a run into the box. Connolly comes back outside the area to Hammond. In front of the goal, 30 yards out. Squares it to Cork. Now on to Harding. Harding up against McCreary. Gets it onto his left foot. Into the penalty. Deflects. Might be two. It is two. Adam Alana scores. It's David Connolly who scores. Connolly celebrates with the Saints fans. Close range effort. Ball played in by Harding. Not dealt with by Forrest. Connolly latched onto it, hit it past camp, and Saints do have that two-goal cushion. Connolly's second goal since August. Forest nil, Saints two. Excellent build-up down the left-hand side. The change of the play, they come down the right-hand side. Harding comes late to support the change of play. He cuts inside. He whips the ball in off his left foot, in, in towards the, the six-yard box. Eventually, it's gone through, and Connolly has read the situation. He's got between the two players and just nicked it past the goalkeeper. That's a poacher's goal, Adam. Now, Schneidlin, he's going to pull the trigger here from a long way out. He does! What a goal that is! Low flat strike from Morgan Schneidlin, only his second of the season. Whacked it low past Lee Camp's right hand side. Keeper couldn't make it. Saints are three up, and the Forest fans are going home. Forest nil, Southampton three. Well, what do you say about that one? How long have I been saying about Schneidlin getting goals and, and that, that right foot of his? You know, I, I've said if you can get him forward, he's got to be trying to get more and more goals. And he's just shown today, he's got into that area, he's pulled the trigger at him, he's let fly, and that one, the goalkeeper's gone to his right. It's really deceived him because of the pace and a terrific goal, 3-0. The league what leaders a strike. are back on form. Saints have been top of the championship for four months. They will stay there through the week. Fourth away win of the season, first in five attempts, and the second in a row if you include the FA Cup last week, but I'm talking about in the league. And there we go, the end of the match. Eddie Hilton blows his whistle, he caused controversy just after half-time, the referee went sending off Luke Chambers, the Forest skipper, for an elbow on David Connolly. Saints were already a goal up by then when Gooley had scored in the 27th minute. But it took another 15 minutes through the second half, past the hour, before Connolly punished for his indiscretion. He hit home first time from Hardy's cross on the right. And then with 11 minutes to go, Morgan Schneidlin rasped one in, low past Lee Camp, to make it three from distance. Plenty of red seats on show well before the end of their game. Southampton back to winning ways in the league, on the road. First win since the start of November, and 2012 is getting better and better.